Well, here we are right at the edge of November, and that means right at the edge of setting the clocks back, which it seems like a lot of folks always have feedback on turning the clocks back and forward and all that. There's always feedback, especially those with uh, kids and little ones, especially. That's it. But, you know, I got to tell you, I'm one of those people who looks at this and I say, all right, every year we get to this point in the the year, kids are walking to the bus stop literally in the dark. It's like nighttime for the kids that are going out there. It's hard to see them, so you can't not make the change and have it be safe. You know what I mean? Anyhow, uh, we're going to do no foliage. That's over. We've yep. got photos and we've got your Q&A. And you said we're going to start with Q&A this Let's week, Let's start right? with Q&A this right. week because we just had one that came in uh, based on insights that came out earlier today. And it was a great question. Mm. Paul Lynch on Twitter says, severe drought, because that just got issued right. today. Aren't we still normal, above normal, in terms of annual rainfall? I know it's been exceptionally dry in recent weeks, but that certainly wasn't the case for much of the year. Great question, Paul. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and show you what's going on. We'll start out with a national view, which there is an extreme drought across a lot of the central United States. States, but now we're getting into our share of it as well. We sure are actually exceptional drought in portions of uh, western Texas. And here in New England, severe drought is now on the map, including for the city of Boston, extends into far southern York County, Maine, a lot of Metro West to northeastern Massachusetts. All those oranges, about 14 percent of the state of eastern Massachusetts in severe drought now with 70 to 80 percent of New England in some sort of drought. And this has gone with the brush fire conditions mm-hmm. and the fact that everything's been very favorable for the brush fires to continue. But you know what? He's right. We are above normal for rain over the last year. Take a look. We are 108 percent in terms of percent normal rainfall for the city of Boston and much of New England, actually. But it's just been such a dry spell lately. This is a percent of normal rain in just the past 30 days, which is much, much lower. Huge difference. Mm-hmm. So, you know what? You certainly you do have these long lasting droughts and in the places that are exceptional or extreme in parts of the U.S. They've been going on for, you know, the better part of a year. But in our case, it's just the fact that it's been a short term drought. So you're not really impacting your well water supply in the deep water grounds at this point. Uh, but you certainly are if you have dug wells or things of that nature. Anyway, it's a uh, gorgeous pictures coming in this week, Danielle. Rainbow, fall, rainbow and fall foliage in Marlboro. Todd sent this in. I love this shot. The clouds, a little bit of traffic on the roads there, too. Yeah, and a road work sign ahead. But that's kind of a typical. <laughs> we expect that on the highways in New England. Uh, you've been a world's end before. I have. Um, born and raised in Weymouth. So I've been this to this place uh, multiple times. Hang em. Becky sent this in of world's end. A gorgeous view out over the uh, water with the fall color and the beautiful clouds in the background, too. Love it. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Becky, for thinking of us and sending this one along. Oh, we have so many of these cute schoolhouses all around New England. You love the little red I do. I love all the little schoolhouses. They're such a part of our history. (laughs) I know they are. Dunstable Mass, Sheila sent this, and I loved it, too. It's just quintessential bright orange uh, leaves on the trees, which are probably no longer there. Right, I know. With all the leaf cleanup that I've been doing around our yard, I look at that and think, oh, somebody cleaned all those up. That's right. They sure did. Uh, Brilliant colors of autumn are evident as the sun rises across Buzzards Bay. Love that, Rick. Barely a ripple on the water. Right, yeah. Very, very calm, very quiet, gorgeous stuff. This one here is uh, Canopy Lake. And you know what? I love this shot from Dana, but I also love the message. Dana says every fall day is a gift and then said, thanks for sharing your gifts. Well, Dana, that's really special. Thank you for saying that. So we appreciate sweet. it. Love yeah. the clouds. Love the reflection there. Gorgeous shot over Canopy Lake. There we go. More color here. Dover, New Hampshire, Little Bay Bridge looking towards Portsmouth, New Hampshire Seacoast. And we're getting to be that season again where you can start to see the steam coming out of those smokestacks this time of the year in the morning, can't you? And uh, same thing in the evening as well. But great uh, shot from Sean. All right, here we go. I love this one. Go ahead, Danielle. (laughs) So Kevin says, thanks. Got your sweatshirt. It's great. I love it. From Littleton, Massachusetts. And that links right into someone, Marianne, actually, who wrote in and said, you have swag. I heard you yeah. talk about what, where can I find some more information yeah. on that? Well, that's great. Kevin, make sure you turn that inside out when you wash it. We want that logo <laughs> to stay nice and bright. We always want folks to see the one degree outside. Don't Thank dry you. it. Dry it on low. That's right. That's, <laughs> listen, folks, this is so crazy. I love this part, which is the fact that we are talking about the fact that we have this swag in the first place because Danielle, folks, ask for it. I know. That that's is so, so nice. Sweet. You said we want to support you. What can we do? Can you come up with some merchandise? So we do. It's uh-huh. swag dot one degree outside dot com and we have so many items different colors different sizes to choose from we get the umbrella right at the top <laughs> yeah, related we do. stuff you've got your mug right here which we use uh every day that's so, right speaking of apparel yeah oh you're oh yeah oh here you're right oh what is this okay uh halloween, it's halloween. You need all to right put it on. what did you see danielle with her headless uh her headless weather cast earlier if you haven't check out noise's notes from today halloween is this supposed to go in front of me or i just wanted to see work? you with the witch hat on okay you know <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you, can, you can tell them into it. I'm going to be fun with the kids tonight. Oh, you can. Of course. Of 
course. You look great. <laughs> Thanks. You look great. I'm glad you found your head. I'm glad you got that back on. It you got bad. folks, you got to check it out. You'll see in an instant why it's a joy being married to Danielle. Every day is an adventure. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, if you grab the app, please do um, go ahead and send us your photos. It's in the send to us tab at the bottom of the app. It comes right to us. We both see them as they come in. Sometimes we'll put them right on social media. Either way, we get them and we try and get as many as we can in the photo segment. We sure do. Awesome. We'll see you next week. All right, everybody. Take care. We'll see you at one degree outside.com.